thank you everybody for all of the absolutely kind words and stories that you all have shared. It just completely reflects on the type of person that my dad was. I'm Sean, Justin's oldest son, and this is my brother Jacob. I'll have to start off with some dad advice. Pardon the cell phone notes. As my dad was a Boy Scout, he told me always to be prepared. Well, let's say the notes didn't make it, but I thought of my dad and I took a picture of the notes and here they are. So, as I can't really think straight right now, I'm gonna probably be reading off of this more often than not. For those of you that know me, I really wanted to say something funny to make you all laugh and smile, but I really wanted to say this from the heart. First of all, wow, the outreach, everything that everyone has done for my dad and our family has been nothing short of incredible. However, I'm not sure this is what my dad would have wanted because he hated being the center of attention Sorry, Dad, you're going to have to deal with it because you were loved by so many. Just seeing and knowing how many people he touched in some way or another is absolutely amazing. He truly was the best of us. And as I've been told a hundred times over by all of you, if you spent more than two minutes with him, you knew how amazing of a person he was. Recently, I heard something of that uh, someone said online. I don't know whether or not it's true, but knowing my dad, I believe it to be true. Someone out there said that he was the most kind and polite police officer to have ever arrested him. <laughs> as crazy as that sounds, you and I all know that that is probably true. To be completely honest, I didn't know what to say or write. My first thought was that I needed to ask Dad for some help. He was the most well-spoken person that I have ever known, and I'm not just saying that because I'm biased. He deeply understood the most powerful thing a person has is their words. Trust me, I can go on for hours telling you all how great he was, but I will say that I cannot be more thankful to have had him as a dad. I owe him everything for who I am today. I'm thankful that he was able to see me grow up and he was able to see my brother recently graduate. I'm thankful that he was able to guide me through a few years of adult life to give me some good experience to help share to my brother because I promised my dad that I would care for him if anything ever happened. My dad barely ever asked for help, and he always wanted to help others. So I'll try and leave you all with some of the advice that he gave me. He knew and he understood his morality, or mortality, both as well. It's a sad thing to think about, but it cannot be more true, especially in this line of work. Tomorrow is never promised. Life is too short to be upset. with those that always tell them that you love them and how you feel. There is always the chance that you may never see them walk through that door again. We knew he loved us and that he was proud of us. And we were of him as well because we said it. Nothing was left unsaid and we are extremely lucky to have peace with that. There are others who cannot say the same. I will not miss anything more than those big strong hugs that he gave when I said, I'll see you later. <laughs> I just wanted to thank everyone for coming out today in remembrance of my dad. It's just amazing to see all the lives that he has touched.
yesterday was a very rough day because yesterday was Father's Day. It was the first one with out our dad there. We had never imagined something like that. But there's no words to describe how thankful I am and how thankful we are for all the time we got to spend with him and all the Father's Days. We couldn't have asked for a better dad to raise us to who we are today and who we will become. And we're so thankful we were able to call him our dad. And I know you hated the, being the center of attention. He's probably a little mad right now. But in my opinion, he deserves all the attention in the world because he was the best of all of us. And like Sean said, not, I don't, I'm not biased, but he was the greatest man I have ever met. He was the most selfless, humble, and caring human being something him and I would always do is go to the movies and you know there's a lot of uh, superhero movies and even after watching all those superheroes on the big screen and everything there was always one hero I looked up to and that was him he was just the best person I could ever look up to He always has been and always will be my hero. And I found this quote, I wrote it down in my English notebook and found it the other day. Actually, my girlfriend found it the other day and came across it. And I forgot where I found it, but I wanted to share it that it doesn't get easy. I want everyone to remember that. 